is so... huge! The tears you offer are all that I crave. Huh? Soma. It appears you were quite fond of this Aragami. And that can only be seen as a foolish choice, my son. Shut up. I've never thought of you as my father. Let Shio go! Very well. Now that I've obtained the Singularity, I have no use for the Vessel. So long. Such a long road to get here. Nurturing Nova's base through many years of managed devouring. Scouring the entire world for viable spaceships to add to my fleet. The project to transport the Chosen 1000. Now, at last, it is about to come to fruition! And now, victory is mine, Doctor! You're there, aren't you? Paler? Just as I thought, it's too late. Even as we speak, we are still on the brink of extinction. The destruction by the Aragami reported daily around the world, is nothing compared to this. Nova, the planet-devouring Aragami. Should Nova appear and then explode, the world as we know it will end. When exactly will this happen? In a few centuries? In a few hours? Ages is doomed to fall. I refuse to hide in such a place and wait for the apocalypse! Precisely because it is an unavoidable fate, we must control it! Make sure the Chosen survive into the next generation! What you yourself were trying to accomplish by using the Singularity was nothing but an attempt to stave off the apocalypse! Am I wrong about that, Doctor? I don't know about that. What in the world is he talking about, Doctor? You see, I wanted to preserve the world by creating a group of human-like Aragami. I tried to prolong the critical state just before the devouring apocalypse by nurturing Aragami that were totally autonomous from the rest and able to control their predatory instincts. And towards that end, I used you all, as well as Shio. Forgive me. Coexistence with the Aragami? Oh, you haven't changed. For a scientist, you are far too much of a romantic. All you have to do is observe human behavior. A truly autonomous person? His desires and instincts suppressed? Never has such a being existed in the history of humankind! You may be right. But even if you believe that, wouldn't you say you've been too pessimistic towards the human race? I'm afraid that's not quite true, Doctor. Granted, I did lose hope for humankind itself, long ago. But there's one thing I know, that despite it all, 
Humans still strive to live intelligently. Our instincts, our insatiable desires are no different than that of the Aragami or Nova. But beyond that, there is a future carved out for humans. I can see now that our differing views will never mesh. But that aside, now that you've extracted Shio's core, the singularity for the devouring apocalypse, there's really nothing more that I can do. You even sent me to Europe to try to buy some time. But by then, the outcome had already been determined. <laughs> so you knew about that after all? I guess time was on your side. Doctor, do not grieve so. As a shining guide to the next world, this singularity will point us toward this planet's new providence. That is the cycle of planets bound by fate. In other words, it is divine providence. Furthermore, who should we find at the pinnacle of that providence? Even in the imminent new world, it should be we humans! That's right! Humans are... No. We ourselves are God-eaters now! Will a human turn into a god? or a god turn into a human. This battle really piqued my interest, but I'll concede defeat now. You're no different than an origami now, but I'm sure you're well aware of that. Ironic that a scientist would turn to fate, but now I'm going to believe in you, in you god-eaters. Lindo, are you watching? We finally made it this far, and it's thanks to everyone here now. I... all this time... I've been waiting for someone to create a haven where my family and friends could be safe. But now I realize that it's such an easy thing to accomplish. I just have to become that haven myself, and I'm ready to fight. To create it! Me too. Thanks to you all, I finally realized something. That even someone like me can protect someone else. Enough with the chit-chat. You guys, back me up. Not even torrents of rain can stop this overflowing spring of redemption. There's only one plank afloat in this stormy sea, and it shall be grasped by one man alone. I am six old. Okay, follow me. Let's go. You
you out as many times as it takes. Everyone, stay alert.